Turning now to your community focus, the Rhode Island Foundation recently awarded $550,000 in grants to support an animal welfare programs all across the state. Joining us live in studio now to talk about that money and its impact is Neil Steinberg, president and CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Kelly. So let's start off by talking about the grants. So where is the money coming from and where is it going? So one of the things the Rhode Island Foundation does is we have very generous donors and we match up the donors' interests, their passions, what they want to do with needs in the community. So a lot of people support different sectors, and a lot of people like to support animals in the care and feeding and nurturing of animals. So the money comes from our generous donors, uh, and we match it up with the great need out there of shelters who are looking to be able to support the growing number of animals in their care. And how is this money going to be used by these shelters and other organizations? Yeah, so you've got two uh, major parts of this. So because of COVID, a lot of people adopted pets. It's great for mental health. A lot of people went back to work after COVID and couldn't take care of their pets. And so there's an influx into these shelters. And then once at the shelters, inflation comes into play and veterinary expenses, food, uh, everything that you need to do to shelter and take care of these pets and animals is more expensive. So that's what it's used for by the different statewide organizations that care for animals, animal welfare. And uh, what are some examples of some of these organizations that are getting this money? Yeah, sure. So you've got the Rhode Island Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, uh, the Potter League, uh, uh, Animals Rhode Island, Paws Watch. Throughout the state, people who really are passionate about this. And, you know, it's, it's critical. At the foundation, as, a, as the comprehensive funder, we're doing a lot for homeless people mm -hmm. and, and hopefully getting them shelter in this wonderful weather that we're having. We need to also be able to shelter and take care of their animals when they can't take care of them or they lose their housing or something and other people who are providing care to the animals. Now, Neil, you mentioned um, uh, helping the homeless. Yeah. Um, what other projects or, or, or events is the foundation currently working on? Yeah, so, you know, we're long-term systemic change people, so we're working on education, healthcare, but you, need, you don't ignore what's going on outside your door. So food insecurity in the state, housing and homelessness, behavioral health, mental health and substance abuse, all critical issues that we're funding courtesy of very generous donors and the work that we lead in the community. All right, Neil Steinberg, President and CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. Always a pleasure to have you Thank here. Thank you.